Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so the first card is nighttime and this is about making decisions and clarity coming to light, things coming to light. So there are going to be things that are going to be revealed to you in order for you to, uh, well, it will help you make the decision. So it looks like all your chakras are opening up over there and a lot of information coming uh, in. And there might be somebody that's around you that's also giving you some advice as well on how to do things. So there is, um, there is some clarity coming in over here and you will be able to make that decision based on some sound advice as well. You've got the money card coming over here, so some kind of financial security coming in for you. So it looks like, you know, as far as your work goes, uh, you're heading in the right direction. It looks like financial security coming your way. You've got the Harlequin card over here, and this is about using your your creativity. So this is about things that you haven't really even, you don't even know you have these kind of talents. Uh, you need to actually tap into that to be able to do this particular work that you're doing. Maybe this new clarity that comes in allows you to tap into your hidden talents and use your creativity in whatever project you're doing. So in the past, you've got this mountain over here. So there's been a lot of obstacles that you've been facing and the future has not been very, very clear to you. You can see there's a lot of clouds uh, blocking the top of the mountain. So you've set out on a new journey, a new pathway over there. But, uh, you know, you're really not sure about where you're going. Even here, you've got that sand card over here. So there was some kind of event, maybe some kind of disaster in your life. Uh, you can see this plane has crashed. Uh, things, um, you know, seem to have gone completely wrong. Uh, you felt like time is running out because you've got this hourglass over here, you know, the sands of time running out for you here. And now you're, you're launching yourself into a new journey. You started a new uh, career path or maybe a new even emotional uh, path, uh, you know, or maybe a new love path. You've, you've started yourself on a new direction in life. So you seem to have uh, launched yourself into something brand new. Now, going into the future, you've got the hand over here, which is talking about, uh, you know, doing a lot of work, being very hands-on on that particular project that you're doing in order for you to move forward. So, and, uh, you know, information coming in there to help you and maybe people giving you a hand as well. Whatever you're going to be doing is going to be uh, very, very emotionally fulfilling as well for you. You've got that construction card, constructing card as well. So this is very working very, very hard, using all those creative skills and talents and being able to do this particular job. So you're very, very focused. You're going to be very, very hands-on on this particular work uh, and working pretty hard and getting things done and doing things from very, um, you know, uh, you've got a very strategic way of doing things. You're going to be very, very organized uh, uh, in order to do it. And it's going to be um, something that you're building. You're, you're building for the future here. So these are the energies for that particular week. So I'm going to be using the Gay Tarot for the main read. I have put this deck in the description box, so have a look. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Temperance card over here, and this is mixing and blending all the talents and skills and everything that you've learned in the past in order to make that thing that is perfect. So Virgo is very, very fussy. Uh, <laughs> you're somebody that likes to pay attention to detail and, you know, you like to be very, very organized. So you now you're employing all those skills and talents that you're, you've learned and becoming that head chef. So you're an expert at what you're doing and whatever you're producing is going to be very, very palatable. Uh, you know, people are going to like what you produce. Uh, so you're doing that. You're le you've learned quite a bit. Now you're managing to put all that information together and you're working. Uh, where you're in whatever you're doing now uh, you know you're using all those talents all those skills all that knowledge that you have all that expertise to get the job done and very very focused on the work as well because he's very focused on that frying pan now what's happening with you've got the strength card over here and you've got the moon so you know with the strength card is uh, having that confidence to do it know that you have the skills because with the temperance card it's about employing all that skill that you have I know that you have the skill and you know you're going to be able to jump through any hoop. 
uh, so you have all the talents uh, but you need to have that confidence so you need to be like this tiger and be able to um, get get it done uh, have that confidence and know that you can do it you will be able to do it and you've got the moon card crossing it over there so this means that you know there may be some things that are hidden from you here because you know watch out for hidden enemies or old relationships that you're trying to end that uh, were not serving you you've got the last cycle of the moon over here so things coming to an end things coming to a close you might even be um, you know a, um, closing down relationships that are no longer serving you, uh, things that were not really working out for you. So there were hidden things. You're also very, very anxious. There might be a little bit of depression running through it as well. Uh, maybe you're worried about a lot of things and maybe even, uh, you know, expecting the worst to happen because the moon is a reflected uh, body. So that means that it reflects light. Uh, so it doesn't reveal all the truth. Um, you know, there's a lot of hidden things with the moon, lots of hidden enemies. Uh, it tends to produce people who lie or, uh, you know, um, um, maybe thrill you into thinking that you they are going to offer you more than they can actually offer you. So it seems like you're going to be ending that cycle and you're going to be moving forward. You need to have that confidence. Uh, don't let any kind of insecurities to pull you down. Now, in the past, you've got the Seven of Cups over here, so there's been a lot of options available to you. So you've been you might have been involved in a lot of study as well, uh, and you know you might have wanted to travel also. Uh, so there's been a, you've been weighing up a lot of options, considering a lot of things in the past year. Whatever you've been doing, you've been very victorious in it so whatever projects you've been up to whatever options you chose it seems like you had a you know you had to fight really hard to get where you are and you are starting to succeed right now now it looks like you want to start something brand new you're waiting for some kind of communication to come in you might want to do some travel and leave everything behind and start a brand new cycle or brand new journey so going into the future, you've got the Guide of Wands over here, and this is about travel. So you might be thinking of doing some overseas travel or even communicating with people and um, foreign people, overseas people, people that, you know, uh, that are not around you, you know, getting out of your country or getting out of where you are at. So you're thinking of doing some travel, and uh, this is, you're taking that power. You're, you're being very enthusiastic. You're trying to manifest that. So the Sun card is what's um, going on with you personally. So you've been working very, very, very hard and success is about to hit. If it hasn't already, it is about to enter your arena over here. You've got a lot of sunflower cards over here. You can see you've been building structures or you've been putting down uh, something that is going to last forever. So you've been building yourself up, building up your career, building up your love life. Whatever you've been involved in, it's been something that you've been working very, very hard in, uh, putting a lot of time into it working very late hours. Now you're in the phase of manifestation over here. So whatever you have in your mind will come into your arena. Um, and you know, this is, look, it looks like you want to, you start a brand new project and you do want to travel and you've got the hearts over here. So it looks like you want some new love to come in and you're working very, very hard to manifest that as well. Now you've got the man of wands over here. This is looking like, you know, you might have some legal issues that you might be thinking about, or there might be some legal uh, news that you are waiting for, some problems that you're waiting to deal with. Uh, maybe you're worried about uh, having to deal with legal issues because this is in your hopes and fears. Uh, and it looks like there's the law or there's some kind of legal issue that you're trying to sort out as well. Now, going into the future, you've got the Four of Wands over here, uh, the Protector, um, which is like the Empress card, and then you've got the Magician. So the Four of Wands is working with people, working with a group of people, being a team player and building something really big, uh, you know, uh, making sure that it is going to be successful. And it's going to be something that's going to be seen. It's a project that you're working with that's going to get a lot of recognition and be seen by a lot of people as well. Then you've got the Protector over here, which is the Empress, which is success. You can see whatever project you have is going to be successful you've got that big sun over there you're going to get news about it as well uh, but it's going to elevate elevate you or elevate your status and make you uh, you know a lot of people are going to see you or people are going to get you're going to get a lot of recognition and then you've got the magician card over here which is success it's the beginning of things so you have all the tools you need you are well trained up you are an expert at what you do and you are going to be able to bring all those thoughts and ideas that you have in your mind into your reality because this is a so and um, as above so below so whatever you have in your mind as above uh, whatever your your life plan is you will be able to bring it uh, into uh, fruition you will be able to manifest it 
Also, with the magician card, just worry about uh, people uh, lying to you because, you know, with the magician card, uh, it is ruled by Mercury and there is an element of deception that is involved with the magician card. Uh, so just don't believe everybody's tall tales. Make sure that you have your feet firmly placed in the ground when you're listening to any suggestions by people. But uh, all in all, this is a very good card because it's the beginning of things. It's the magic that comes in that allows you to move forward. So it looks like there might be some travel over here, but it's going to, you know, your success is coming in after this hard work and try not to be negative about things. It looks like, you know, you have learned quite a bit and you are now uh, going to be able to employ all those skills and move forward. So this is uh, the angel card and this is for the uh, oracle read. And you've got the strength card in coming in again over here. So this is important because it was the beginning of the main read over here. You have the strength card in over here. So you are having some confidence issues going on over here. So great inner strength. Release harsh judgments and forgiveness and compassion. So you need to con take control. Now you can see the tiger is standing over here next to the man. But in this deck, he has got control of that tiger. So you need to take control of that situation. So whatever problems you're facing, you need to be the one that takes control. And you do need to exert that force or that effort. You need to be a force to be reckoned with. Then you've got the Hermit card over here, which is your card, Virgo. And spend some time in quiet meditation, spiritual teaching, or self-discovery. So you are very, very focused on your work, focused on your goals. And, uh, you know, you are also a very expert with this Hermit card being ruled by Virgo. And you are paying attention to details. You are analyzing the situation very carefully. This is also spending a lot of time by yourself. Uh, and trying to get a perspective as well. So that's what you will be doing. Then you've got the ego card over here. So this is a false sense of entrapment, uh, being overly focused on material things and negative or fear-based thoughts. So you need to let go of the fears that are holding you back. This is why the strength card has come in as well and it's come in twice. So you need to let go of any kind of fears or any kind of um, confidence issues that you have and move forward. Uh, because you have the strength uh, to do it and you will be able to succeed. You just have to say you can do it and put your mind to it and it will all be achieved and all go in your favor. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.